Hi everybody, um, Steve here from RSM. Welcome to our latest instalment of our Coffee Conversation series uh, in 2021. Um, today it, uh, it's a great privilege to be joined um, by Graham Turner, um, better known to many as Screw. Uh, uh, Screw, of course, is the CEO of the Flight Centre Travel Group. Um, and uh, yeah, it's great to have you with us today, Screw. Um, been a long time since we've caught up face to face, and um, yeah, it's a great opportunity. So appreciate the, the time. And Pat, before if we uh, before we get into the conversation, this is all about a casual chat over a coffee. Um, so what is your uh, what's your coffee of choice? What have you got today? Well, actually, yeah, pretty boring. It's a uh, flat white with sort of one sugar. Okay, very good. Not dissimilar to me. It's no. a uh, it's a latte. Um, also got it from Mofo's, your uh, your yeah. very own own uh, cafe here in Flight Centre, um, and uh, yeah, just the one shot and no sugar. So oh, uh, okay. but thanks again, Screw. Really appreciate your time. Um, probably just to kick kick off, if you could just uh, share with us a little bit about you, about your journey. You know, who is Screw Turner? Um, yeah, well, that's probably a really difficult one. You should ask my wife; she might be able to tell you. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> oh, look, I'm, I suppose I'm essentially a Queenslander, uh, although probably um, <clears throat> I, I never liked the people, to, particularly our Premier, you know, go, having Queensland mm -hmm. go their own way, but um, certainly grew up uh, in uh, near Stanthorpe in, uh, on an apple orchard. Mm -hmm. um, went to uni at uh, University of Queensland, uh, did vet science. And basically then I spent the next, most of the next 10 years based in London where we set up Top Deck Travel in 1973. So uh, been back in Australia since about 81, 82. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, it's, have travelled there a fair bit. Um, yeah. Latest was uh, we were over there at Christmas time and, uh, mm -hmm. and that. So uh, that's about it. And, and obviously we started Flight Centre in 83, floated at... 82, I think, floated in 95, and uh, mm -hmm. now here we are. Yeah, what a great journey. And uh, I guess it's a journey that's had its bumps along the way, and we'll probably talk about some of those. But could you tell us a little bit about the group itself, about Flight Centre Travel Group? Well, um, yeah, pre-COVID, uh, well, and post-COVID, we're in 23 co countries we have equity, mm -hmm. uh, and we've, we've got about another 70, where 75, where we have our SEM Travel Solutions brand uh, licensed, mm -hmm. um, and we have a number of brands, but the most important ones are in corporate, which is Corporate Traveller and FCM, and in leisure, Travel Associates, uh, Liberty Travel in the States, and um, obviously the Flight Centre brand, which was the original brand. So yeah. um, that we we our sales were about twenty four billion pre COVID, mm -hmm. uh, and um, we had about twenty. 21,000 people. Um, since then, of course, we've um, lost about two thirds of our people, uh, but about 90% of our revenue. Uh, so, you know, it's, a, it's been a pretty tough 12 months. It's actually anniversary, I think, of the, uh, the major events is mm -hmm. about now. Well, yeah, it's probably about right, actually. And it's a good segue, actually, Screw, in terms of, uh, you know, the, the, the last 12 months, who could have foreseen if we wind the clock back two years that we'd be in the middle of a global pandemic? It's the sort of thing you see in Hollywood movies. You, you don't see it in real life, but now we're kind of living and breathing it every day and every part of the community and, and business is affected. But uh, I guess no more so is, is, is it front and centre than a, at a global travel business like yours. Um, so can you can you share with us some of the the particular challenges I guess that you've you've had to deal with over the last over the last twelve months and and up to the present time? Well, you know the the the, the major issue, of course, is making sure you've got enough cash flow, mm -hmm. cash runway, to see something like this out. And um, I, I actually remember it was uh, I arrived back from London. I think it was March the twelfth last year. Yeah. And I think it was the next weekend uh, where a lot of the announcements were made, our borders were closed. And um, so we set up a war room on the Monday and uh, for the next um, month, um, our, our COO at the time, well, our CEO of Leisure at the time, Mel Waters Ryan, she'd just come back from New Zealand and our um, CEO of corporate, 
Chris Galanti, who's based in London. Um, we set up a war room here and uh, talked to most of the people for the next few weeks, morning and night, set, um, setting things in place, uh, working out how, we, how we'd get through it. Um, about uh, a, a month or two later, we did a capital raise, um, mm -hmm. which was quite heavily di dilutive to um, to the current shareholders. But um, it you know it raised a um, um, billion, one point two billion dollars or so, and um, and uh, we did another um, um, right uh, another. Um, Issue about uh, three or four months ago, we raised yeah. another three or four hundred million. So, uh, a convertible note it was, but um, so that's given us. Uh, we, you know, we've got about one and a half, one point seven billion in cash reserves at the moment, and, and we have about um, about uh, thirty five, forty million out a month, which is mm. about a third or less, a bit less than a third of our pre pre monthly expenses. So. Yeah, we're in a we're in a reasonable position from um, our cash runway, yeah. but uh, it's also really important we we get revenue back. And since July last year, you know we've been gradually building up our monthly revenues, although they're still only a fraction of what they were yeah. pre-COVID, of course. Yeah, yeah, no, understand. Um, so no no shortage of challenges in in your business. Um, if we kind of Try to. They say every cloud has a silver lining, and you can always find an opportunity out of a out of a out of a bad situation, a negative situation. Um, are there any kind of things that spring to your mind in terms of opportunities that have that have come out that you see, you know, you know, may even flourish further going forward? Look, I mean, um, yes, there probably is. I mean, it, it's really hard to know and to see exactly who's going to survive and. Um, and it's you know whether it's our um, what might have been perceived to be a competition before. I think uh, as an industry, it's really important to us. I think that most of our um, the people in the industry do survive. Uh, inevitably, not everyone will. It's really important that a lot of the infrastructure survives: airports, airlines, uh, tourist facilities, hotels, and that. And um, in you know in in and. There may well be some M and A opportunities or some merger opportunities, but probably the major thing for us in both leisure and corporate is that we have fast track the development of some of our platforms that were new platforms to uh, just to make sure coming out of this our productivity can improve quite substantially. So, um, and and um, you know that that has been talked about a fair bit in our uh, in our releases, but. Um, and that's going reasonably well, but uh, mm -hmm. um, it's it's also one of those things that when you're replacing platforms, and uh, if business comes back more quickly than we are anticipating, yeah. you know it'll really uh, put us under some pressure. So that's yeah. that's one of the challenges that uh, we're not complaining about, but um, may yeah. well be in the future. Yeah, sure. Um, so much uncertainty out there, but. Um, yeah, look, Screw, thanks so much for sharing for sharing that with us. Um, both the challenges that that you're dealing with, and no doubt, you know, we'll continue to deal with for the foreseeable future. But hopefully, as the vaccination program rolls out and we start seeing borders open, we we see a lot more positivity coming back into the travel industry. Um, and also for your your views on the, the the positive things that are coming out, I guess the changes to the business that you're bringing forward that otherwise would have taken a little longer. Um, yeah, really good to catch up. It's been far too long, so um, appreciate the time. And uh, for everyone out there, uh, thanks again for, uh, for joining us. I'm sure you've heard some great insights from Screw today. And uh, certainly if you want to know any more, you know where to find us. So uh, thanks again and look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.